Hello, and welcome to a quick overview of how to use the digital edition of WoundSource 2018. We'll start with an overview of how to navigate the digital edition, and then we'll do a brief walkthrough of this year's edition. Starting in the upper left-hand corner, we have the menu icon, which provides you with access to the table of contents. In the lower left-hand corner, we have go to page, which allows you to scroll through thumbnails of the different pages to jump to a specific section. And next to that, we have the full screen option. Then in the bottom right-hand corner, we have share, which allows you to share either a link to a specific page or the entire publication through email or various social media networks. Next to that is search, which allows you to search for key phrases within the publication. And then under the more menu, there's the notes option, which allows you to leave notes on specific pages. These notes will display where you place them, either until you delete the note or clear your browsing history, and the notes are only visible to you. Under notes, there's the layout option, which allows you to view either single page or spread. And then there are additional options for changing the language of the navigation, as well as viewing a tutorial of how to use the digital edition. Now to dive into the publication itself. You can either use the arrows on the side of the page to advance the pages, or you can also use the scroll wheel of your mouse to scroll through the pages. You'll notice that anything that shows up in yellow is a hyperlink, either to pages within the publication or to external pages, like on the various advertisements. So let's jump into the patient condition section. The patient condition section highlights specific products that can be used on different types of wounds. Now, if we jump ahead to the product section, you'll see that the products are organized by category and then subcategory within, the, within that section. If we jump to dressings, you'll see that at the beginning of the various subcategories, there's a comparison grid, which allows you to see different features for different products. You'll note that wound source is fully cross-referenced and all of those cross-references are links in the digital edition. So you can jump to the various sections of the book. In this case, we'll jump to the company section where you can see the full contact information for the company. Email addresses and websites are also live links. So we've discussed the patient condition index, the products index, and the company's index. So let's take a look quickly at the last index of WoundSource, which is the trade names index. If you know the name of the specific product that you're looking for, you can use trade names to look up the page reference to find that product listing. In the back of the publication, you'll also find a full list of the advertisements in WoundSource with page references as well. That's it for this quick walkthrough of the digital edition. If you have any questions about how to use the digital edition, or if you have any suggestions for future walkthroughs, please email us at info at kestrelhealthinfo.com. Thank you.